Hey, what's good, y'all? This your boy, Big Dog Talk Sports. Shout out to the whole Behind the Bench Network, Kobe Brown Film Room, Rashad, Kelvin, JB. Salute to all the subscribers. We over 2,300. We appreciate every last one of y'all. I want to make a quick video. And I just have some questions, y'all. Uh, shout out to the New York Knicks. Advanced to the second round, beating the Philadelphia 76ers in six games. I thought y'all was going to choke it away the way y'all ended game five, but y'all got the job done. But um, I'm putting on my memory hat, hat right, y'all? I'm putting on my memory hat. I remember it was a player who plays in the state of Colorado named Nikola Jokic. And this man won two MVPs. And... Even though he was playing great basketball, deserving of his most valuable player awards, I used to see a lot of people say, you know, even though he's winning, he's winning MVP. Remember this now; it's a regular season award. Remember that. Don't have nothing to do with the postseason, right? But Nikola Jokic winning MVPs. Well, he's not deserving because he's doing nothing in the playoffs. I remember that, y'all. I know, I know, y'all remember that too. Hell, I remember it was Kendrick Perkins campaigning to Kola Jokic not win a third MVP. Sadly, it was racial motivated. I mean, damn, the man playing basketball, like, whether he's Serbian, white, Chinese, if you balling, you balling, right? But I feel like a lot of other people were getting upset about Nikola Jokic possibly winning his third MVP last year because it was race motivated. They tried to make it seem like it was about him not making it at least to the, to the, to the Western Conference Finals, which was a lie, by the way. Got to the Western Conference Finals in 2020, but whatever, right? They they said he's getting over praised because he didn't win a championship despite him balling and earning awards that had nothing to do with the playoffs. All right, but you know Nikola Jokic and the uh, the Nuggets with Jamal Murray and the boys eventually won the championship. Last year. So guess what? They had to shut up about that, right? Well, as you see on the thumbnail, we have Joel Embiid. One of the best players in the NBA. Um, most valuable player as of last season. After being eliminated by the New York Knicks in six games in round one, this is another season where Embiid and the Sixers don't even make it to the what the Eastern Conference Finals. I just want to know, are we going to get that same energy for Joel Embiid, or it's not going to happen because, let's say, skin tone. For me, it has nothing to do with race. And for me personally, this ain't got nothing to do with Nikola Jokic, even though I want to see some of y'all have that same energy since y'all claim it, it wasn't about race. It was about um, playoff results for those who claim it wasn't about race, even though it really is, sadly. But my thing for Joel B, right, for me, take all Nikola Jokic stuff out the way. Joel Embiid, he had Ben Simmons. A lot of people blame Ben Simmons. I don't blame him. Ben Simmons gets a lot of blame for his um his time with the Sixers a few years ago in the playoffs. Ben Simmons gone. Trade to the Brooklyn Nets. We got James Harden now. Former MVP. 
No, he's not his 2018 self, but he will still get you 20. Like, he still could get you a triple-double any given night. And I'm talking about, I'm not talking about 10, 10, 10. I'm talking 25, 10, 10, 28, 10, 10, sometimes 30, 10, 10. Still one of the best guards in the NBA. Then we say, well, you know, James Harden does not show up in the playoffs. Hey, you know what? That's not a lie. <laughs> he don't. Now you got Tyrese Maxey. Right? Hold on, hold on. Before I even get to Tyrese Maxey, before I even get to this year, you had Doc Rivers. Who people say, people like myself is too hard on Doc Rivers. You know, he's a great coach. I think y'all doing this because he black. You know, is there a thing? Like, it's, it's got to be race. It just can't be because of results of what you've seen. People always got to go with race. But me personally, I be wanting to give the Sixers a pass because I don't feel like Doc Rivers is really a great coach, you know. But it is what it is as far as the coach. Tobias Harris, the man who was chosen over Jimmy Butler. Hey, look, man, Tobias Harris. <laughs> to me, this man is so unimpactful on the court. People don't even think to to talk about how he's a disappointment. Cause it's like he's, it's like people don't even remember him being there. And he was a guy that was chosen over Jimmy Butler. You know, I'm going I'm to have a new nickname for Tobias Harris. His nickname is Forget Me Not. Now, I'm not talking about um, the old school song. I'm talking about the X-Men character named Forget Me Not. I bet some of y'all is like, you know, this for the comic book nerds like myself. I bet y'all, who the hell is Forget Me Not? Exactly. Forget Me Not is a character to where once he goes out of your sight, you forget that he ever existed. Weird, it's a weird mutant power. Go look him up. Forget me not. He's an X Men. Like once you go out of his eyesight, you you don't, you know, you never remember who he is. It's gotta be a sad mutant power, by the way. But anyway, that's Tobias Harris. He's forget me not. Like you don't even remember he was the guy chosen over Jimmy Butler. You don't even remember he gets paid like a big time star, and you forget that you expect him to ball in, you know, big-time situations in big-time games. You forget all about that. You forget all about Tobias Harris. But now you got Tyrese Maxey. You have Nick Nurse, who uh, was an NBA championship coach, what, five seasons ago. And these guys still couldn't get out the first round. Knicks played hell, you know, some some good basketball without Julius Randle. Jalen Brunson and the boys, they did their thing. Miss Robinson, all of them. But are we going to start hearing about how Joel Embiid is underachieving and him being the MVP shouldn't have happened because his results in the playoffs has been, you know, under you know underachieving? Are we going to hear that? Or is it because he's black? It's not going to happen. Or are you like myself? Who just don't really have faith in Joel Embiid to lead a team, you know, really anywhere. Like, he's a great talent. He has the skills to do it. But I just don't believe in him. You know, he's like Devin Booker to me. Great talent. I just don't believe in him. I just don't believe he could be somebody that could lead me to a championship. Same way with uh, Kevin Durant. I don't know, man. Just what y'all thoughts in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think, man. Shout out to all the su subscribers. If you're not subscribed yet, please hit that button. Hit that notification bell, man. Uh, big dog out.